So, you clicked on it, so you might know what is going on. This is my top five horror books. Not of all time, just top five you want to read, you know? If you feel like, yeah, I'm feeling like a horror book lately. This is like a list that you might enjoy. This is not going to be a lot of spoilers. I'm just going to give you hints, cover, trailers of them all. So, I'm going to begin with my top five favorite horror books to read when it's Halloween, when you're just in the couch and you just want to feel miserable and scared and kind of alive. Because horror gives you that feeling of life, you know, for some weird reason. Which, yeah, it's weird. So let's begin. Number one, by the way, this is not in any order. It's not like from best to worst. It's just five. So. Number one is The Graveyard Book. Now this book is fantastic. The way it was written, the way it was told, it, it felt dynamic, it felt fluid. There wasn't a lot of hesitation in the story. There wasn't a lot of pauses in weird places. The story keeps progressing and no matter what weird or bizarre thing that the narrator tells you or throws at you, you roll with it and you feel like, yeah, it makes sense. It doesn't feel like Okay, you took me from this genre to this genre. No, it's it's like, oh, yeah, this is awesome. It kind of gives you a feeling of a world that you didn't know, but this is kind of like a glimpse into it. Fantastic, highly recommend, and it's probably one of my favorite in this, in this list. Number two, The Monstermologist. Now, if we're talking about the best horror series up to date, I gotta say The Monstermologist. Rick Yancey, dude, I wanna shake your hand, dude. You made an amazing, amazing book. The way it's told, the way it flows together, it's a long series, it's, it's four books. It starts with The Monstermologist and then goes into the uh, Windigo and then the Isle of Blood and then finally The Final Descent. Great books, like from one, two, three, and four. Four, I'm still not finishing four because I love it so much. I don't want to finish it. You know that feeling where you're like, yeah, I'll get to it later, but you don't want to because you know when you get to it, there's no more. There's no more. So I'm not gonna finish it for now. And this is probably one of the best storytelling horror books because it doesn't rely on just jump scares or the monsters behind you run. No, the story itself, the characters, from the monster homologist to Will Henry to so many characters, each and every character in this book feels authentic, feels like a real existing character. So yeah, this is probably, again, one of my favorite horror book series ever. I'm, I'm gonna do actually a review on the whole thing, you know, but later on, this is just my top five. So, what number am I? Oh yeah, I was in two, so three. Number three, you didn't see that F up before. Number three is one of my also favorites. This is all my favorite. Why do I keep saying this is one of my favorites? So number three, you can't bring up horror books without bringing the king. I know, I know, you know. You have different kinds of kings of horror, but this is kind of my favorite, which is H.P. Lovecraft. And this book is so short, but so sweet. You know, it's it's... It's delicious. It's right there. Every bite is just delicious, delicious, delicious. And that is The Thing on the Doorstep. Perfect book. Beginning, middle, and end. It's very short. It's a short story. Most of his writing is short story. It's not really a long novel. It, you can finish it like in a couple of hours. It's not really that long. And this story really defined his writing, because he doesn't do it the way other writers, he does it in this way, he gives you the sensation like the monster is right here, just out of sight, and if you turn, you're gonna be faced, faced with it, but you don't wanna turn, you just wanna run. This is his writing, it's so indirect, but so powerful, and this book really shows you that, because it's not really big, monstrous things, it's subtle. Talk about subtlety and beauty at the same time. Number four, this is also H.P. Lovecraft. I love the guy, what can I say? H.P. Lovecraft, The Color Out of Space. This is awesome. 
This is awesome. Talk about alien monster things. It's not like I crashed here so I want to destroy the world or I crashed here and I want to phone home. No, it's alien. Something you can't comprehend, something you can't explain, something that is inhuman. You can't it's vile. This is the book for you. The Color Out of Space, hands down one of my favorite of his books. And last, but definitely not least, Burnt Tongues. Now this is a special one because it's not really one story. This is a compendium of writers that each of the writers made short stories and they kind of made it into one book. And this one book is Burnt Tongues. I did a review on it if you want to see in depth more of it. But basically they take writers and just tell them, hey, give me a story, a short of your life, a trailer, you could say. And there's a lot of horror elements, there's a lot of beauty elements. It has a nice balance, but there is a couple of stories in there that would scare the living shit out of you. So yeah, so yeah, that's my list. Thanks for watching. If you like it, tell me. Otherwise, exit that way. Doses.